Our V-Day thought experiment begins at dawn. And to light the fuse, we'll start on Kilauea in Hawaii. It's one of the most active volcanoes on Earth and the ideal place to start imagining V-Day. When Kilauea erupted in May 2018, lava streamed out at over 2,000 degrees Fahrenheit, the equivalent of a blast furnace, flowing at 17 miles per hour, faster than most of us can run. Just one month into the eruption, the lava flows covered almost 14 square miles of land. 2,500 people lost their homes. No one knows when or if they'll be able to return. Kilauea, like all volcanoes, operates beyond human time. But without the volcano, the beautiful islands of Hawaii wouldn't exist. Millions of years ago, deep beneath the Pacific Ocean, abnormally hot rock began rising up from the Earth's interior. A hot spot. As the rock rises, it melts. And in this case, the magma erupts through the ocean floor, creating an underwater volcano which builds up and eventually forms an island. This is the biggest hotspot on the planet. It's been producing lava like this for 80 million years at least. Although the hotspot's position is fixed, the Pacific Ocean floor is not. It's moving westwards by three and a half inches per year. As it does, each volcano stops erupting and a new one starts over millions of years, forming a string of volcanic islands. Kilauea, is where the hotspot is still building Hawaii's big island today. Volcanoes built Hawaii, just as they have created 80% of the Earth's surface. But calling these islands home will always be risky. Kilauea Volcano is by far the most active volcano in the world. There's nothing that comes close to it. It covers its entire surface every thousand years. At dawn on V-Day, Kilauea erupts in force, with lava flowing just as it did in 2018. And Kilauea is not alone. 97 other active hotspot volcanoes also erupt, pouring lava out across the globe. But that's only the beginning of our thought experiment, because most of Earth's volcanoes aren't formed from hotspots. There are over 1,400 active volcanoes on Earth today, and understanding them can be a matter of life or death. Now we are in the middle of a revolution in our understanding of how volcanoes work. <laughs>